Liv Morgan has been exposed. In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how she's been exposed and why it's significant and why it's not exactly what you think. Look, Liv Morgan, her 2024 has been unbelievable. And as we are slated, depending on when you hear this video, she is about to step into the ring with Nia Jax, the women's champion, right? Women's world champion versus women's champion. Crown Jewel, the women's crown jewel championship on the line, November 2nd, Crown Jewel PLE over in sweet Saudi Arabia. This is a, a notable moment for Liv Morgan. It's a notable moment for Nia Jax as they are on a collision course. Both stars have a ton of momentum going on right now. You have Nia Jax. She won the championship a few months ago from Bailey at SummerSlam. She recently went over Bailey at Bad Blood. On the flip side, we have Liv Morgan, breakout star of 2024 all the way back to January, her returning with her Liv Morgan Revenge Tour. If you look at her going into a feud with Becky Lynch that really helped her set up for the feud with Rhea Ripley coming out of WrestleMania with the Women's Championship on the line. Now, obviously, we know that Rhea got injured, and that really was the catalyst. That was the springboard for Liv Morgan and her momentum because at a time in which she was given the ball as the new rising star of Monday Night Raw because Becky Lynch and Rhea Ripley, they were gone. She not only turned heel, but she really dialed in on her character and has transformed herself over the last few months, aligning herself with Dominic Mysterio, bringing in Raquel Rodriguez, and picking up notable wins. I'm talking about wins over Zelina Vega. I'm talking about wins over Rhea Ripley at SummerSlam. Yeah, sure, she dropped a mixed tag team match loss uh, a few months ago. At Bash in Berlin. And yes, she technically did lose to Rhea Ripley, but it was via DQ. It was out of her hands. It was out of her control. She had no other options. Raquel Rodriguez came in and made the save for Liv Morgan, making sure that she would retain the Women's World Championship. Now, as we go into Crown Jewel, that leads us to today's video because she's been doing the media rounds and she, in fact, appeared on Insight with Chris Van Vliet. And during so, she talked about when things started clicking for her in WWE. And she said, I feel like maybe 2022, my journey to money in the bank, I feel like when I really started to feel like I was clicking. And then I think even after that, even more, but I feel like my time off really gave me a sense of self that I felt like I was missing just for doing this for so long. Since I was 20 years old, this is literally all I've really immersed myself in and that I've been able to do full time for the last decade. So that, to have that time off and just to be myself fully at a time, I feel like I learned a lot about myself and really did kind of develop a real strong sense of self that I didn't know I was missing beforehand because I didn't know. So I feel like coming back with new confidence and I was like, oh, really, really, really clicked. But it's funny because it's something that I didn't know I was missing. I didn't know that I didn't feel myself until all I had to do with myself for the last six months. So what is she talking about here? 2022, that was a clicking moment for her. That was the first click. Her winning Miss Money in the Bank. Her winning the SmackDown Women's Championship from Ronda Rousey. And then having to take off time in, what, summer to end of 2023 due to injury. And obviously she was written off of television due to the attack by Rhea Ripley, a great angle in itself. Being away from WWE, taking a step back, realizing, okay, this is what pro wrestling is. This is what my character is. This is how you take the Nets step on the ladder up to success as someone as a top star, as someone who can carry a brand, as someone that is the Raw Women's Champion or Women's World Champion as someone who is a face of the company and Monday Night Raw, because that is what Liv Morgan was able to do. She was able to fill the void that Becky Lynch left. She was able to fill the void that Rhea Ripley left, because you had Rhea Ripley, she goes down to injury. You have Becky Lynch, who says, peace out, I'm going home, I'm not going to sign this contract. WWE looks at it and goes, okay, we have to create a new star in the women's division. We also have to build up someone that is not only worthy of being a top star, but worthy of being the women's world champion, because this is a title in which Rhea Ripley had held for over a year. This is a title in which Becky Lynch fought so hard and fell short in getting she didn't get, right? She fought to get to that spot, but she didn't. That's what the women's world championship means 
to Rhea Ripley and Becky Lynch and Liv Morgan. That's what that means to them. And so being able to have someone like a Liv Morgan go in there and fill the void, fill the shoes that Rhea Ripley left after a notable Women's World Championship reign that kickstarted a year prior by beating Charlotte Flair, beating the lights of Nia Jax, who would become Women's Champion, beating various names along the way as she transitioned into being a top heel to a top babyface. That is important. And so for Liv Morgan and her for, for her career and for her success and for WWE, they've taken two, two folds. They've taken Rhea Ripley as someone who went from a heel to a babyface and is, oh, by the way, super duper over as a babyface. You have Liv Morgan, who had not been doing much, who had been on the sidelines and then being injured and really being off the sidelines for the most part for the latter of 2023. Coming back, feuding with Becky Lynch. So they already tell you, hey, they, and they told you this when she returned at the Women's Royal Rumble in January, hey, Liv Morgan is a notable star. You should care what she has to say, what she's doing, the feuds in which she's doing. And then her going into the feud with Becky Lynch, saying that they should believe in Liv Morgan because we as a company believe in uh, Liv Morgan. Her going through that feud, then her going through the Rhea Ripley storyline and and really just a quick angle because Rhea got injured and it nixed plans due to injury, right? And they're like, okay, well, we have Rhea Ripley. She's going to be on the sidelines for a while. Yeah, we could keep the title on her. She's going to miss multiple months, best case scenario. Or we vacate the title and we create a new star. And who can we create the star with? So they looked at the women's Raw roster and they go, okay, we have X, Y, and Liv Morgan. Let's go with Liv. She has a dedicated fan base, one of the most dedicated, passionate, loyal, supportive fan bases in all of pro wrestling. And they go, okay, we're going to go with her. We believe in her. We think that she has something. And she took the ball and she ran with it. And she hit home run. And she continued to do that in multiple segments on Monday Night Raw, opening and closing the show, getting involved in the Judgment Day, pulling Dominic Mysterio away from Rhea Ripley, and being able to bring a Raquel Rodriguez back from being on the sidelines and not doing anything due to her skin condition. Keep in mind, heading into Bad Blood, we had not seen Raquel Rodriguez since February because her skin condition flared up again. So with all that being said, I think they've done a great job with Liv Morgan, and I think her success is only going to continue. Let me know down in the comments area below what do you think about WWE's booking of Liv Morgan, and I will see each and every one of you back in the next video.